Hello there, David Thompson here from the theworldoftech.net, and in this video I will be taking a look at the hardware of the Samsung Galaxy Fit. So to begin, it has a 3.3 inch capacitive touchscreen display and it is a nice display because it fills the majority of the screen and it doesn't leave too much black around the edges. It also doesn't attract many fingerprints, as you see here, it's got a few but I have been using this for many weeks and I have not cleaned the screen once. Most phones out there on the market at the moment require you to clean the screen all the time but this really doesn't attract fingerprints that much. Heading up to the top of the phone, there's a stylish Samsung logo and the speaker for when you're in a call. Heading to the bottom, you have one physical button and two touch buttons. Unfortunately, the touch buttons don't light up, so when you're in the dark, you can't see what you're pressing. On the right side, you have the fully accessible power on and lock button. On the other side, you have the volume rocket for up and down. And further down, nicely hidden, you have the micro SD slot. The thing I like about this, it's not on the inside of the phone, it's on the outside and you can swap them out without taking the battery out. On the top, you have the lanyard connector to thread a lanyard through. You also have a nicely hidden USB slot for to charge up, mini USB, and you also have the standard headphone jack. On the bottom, you have a microphone all by itself and nothing else on the bottom. Overall, the phone is very thin and light to hold in the hand. And on that note, around the perimeter of the phone is a nice silver finish to it, so it does look pretty good. Moving on to the back of the device, you have an engraved line finish to it, you also have a Samsung logo, and also a nice little camera there. The lines isn't the stylish thing, but it does keep the fingerprints away. The camera follows an unusual design, as it's very obvious it's there, as it's lined with silver, as the rest of the phone, and it's also pretty square and in your face that there's a camera there. It is indeed a 5 megapixel camera, so you will be getting reasonable quality snaps from this camera. The actual back cover is very cheaply made and plastic. I really do hate the way Samsung use cheap plastic backs on their phones, and it really does let them down immensely. Overall, the solidarity of this phone is really good, and it is going to be a durable phone despite of the plastic back which Samsung use on the majority of their phones. So, if you're looking for a phone which can take a bang and is going to be durable, this phone is definitely for you. At the price tag of £100, I definitely recommend it. So be sure to stay tuned for the full review, and also I would like to thank Samsung for sending this phone out for review. As always, be sure to head over to theworldoftech.net where you can get the latest tech news and reviews.